Howdy, I'm Bob Terry. Howdy, I'm DeCassius. And get ready for another episode of Buffalo Bill Jr. DeCassius, what did we just get through doing? Uh, filming an episode of Tales of the Capcom King. And what's your name in that? Rowdy. And what do you do? I drive the stagecoach. And you save the day, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> and it's brought to you free here on the internet by Wild West Toys. You can shop with Wild West Toys at www.toyguntown.com. Make sure you come by www.westernsontheweb.com to watch all our fantastic, free, family-friendly Western movies and television shows. What are we going to watch? Uh, Buffalo Bill Jr. That's right. Starring who? Who's in it? Dick Jones. That's right. Get ready, because here he comes. Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. With his little sister, Calamity. Buffalo Bill Jr. brings you exciting action. Thrills and fun Whoa. with... Judge Ben, fair and square, Wiley. Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill, Junior. In the 20 years following the Civil War, the government's efforts to place the Indians on reservations met with a savage resistance that left the homes of the pioneers in smoke and ruin and hard pressed the thin line of cavalry that sought to keep the peace. A peace which only needed the spark of discontent to fan it into violent warfare. At this crucial period, the Piutes sent their tribal fund to Washington to be converted into government bonds. But when the delivery of those bonds was long delayed, the Indians began to grow suspicious and restless. That was when all the trouble started, which was to involve me, Judge Ben Fair and Square Wiley, Buffalo Bill Jr., and his sister Calamity, not to mention Captain Corey Heath. Any news from the courier yet? Uh, not yet, sir. You know, Ferris, if we don't get those bonds to the Piutes within the next 24 hours, those Red Devils are going to start painting themselves for war. Uh, did you see Chief Tanaka yet, sir? Yeah, I've been talking with my hands for the past two hours. He doesn't think he's going to be able to hold those young hot bloods much longer. Can't say I'll blame them. Those bonds represent all the money the Piutes have in this world. That courier should have arrived in Prescott four days ago, sir. Ferris, have Johnson wire every telegraph operator, station agent in Fort, from Prescott to the Grand Canyon. Alert them to watch for a military courier from Washington. Report to me the instant he sighted. Yes, sir. Come on, Ferris. Tell him to keep an eye out for Johnny Ringo. Johnny Ringo? Mm-hmm. If those two meet, all we'll ever find is one dead courier. <laughs> Darn right unsociable. He doesn't even know me, does he, Chief? Try SOS. Okay. Now, dot, dot, dot. Pause. Dash, dash, dash. Pause. Dot, dot, dot. Good. You'll be a telegrapher yet. I wish I could send a real message on a real key, Larry. Larry, why are the 
Rangers at Calamity. Bill! What are you doing here? Now, Bill, just a minute. You know you're not supposed to be here bothering Larry? I'm not bothering you. You're supposed to go straight home after school. I can go home by myself. You better not. Hey, will you two stop fighting over me? Oh, no, you don't. Just wait till I tell Uncle Ben. Captain Dale? Wait. A little girl and I want to... Can you read that stuff? Sure. Captain Corey Heath wants a watch kept for military courier. Report at once if sighted. Also, information concerning the whereabouts of Johnny Ringo. Ringo? Say, that must be the fellow that took a shot at me about an hour ago. Shot at you? Yeah. Where, Bill? Up in the cloudy hills. By the one ranch. That's why I wonder why the rangers. He probably took me for a ranger or a, or a scout. I'd better know the fire, Captain Heath. Can you give me a description? No, I wasn't close enough to see his face. But he was dressed like Johnny Ringo. Just tell him that uh, Buffalo Bill Jr. had a brush with him. Hey, come back here. No wonder the judge calls her calamity. There you are, sheared as pretty as a spring lamb. Now, let me see what that'll be. That's a haircut, two bits, legal advice, two bucks. Two bucks? All I did was ask your opinion about that matter of my boner line. Well, the opinion of a judge constitutes legal advice. And if you so much as open your mouth, Yan McDougal, I'll double the price. Yeah. Give me that. Oh, hello, Mr. McDougal. Good. <laughs> What's the matter with him? Oh, he just thought he'd get a little free legal advice. But I figured the malls in his pocketbook needed a little errand. Well, Uncle Ben, hmm? you've just got to talk to Bill. What's he done now? Well, he's acting like... For like a brother. Oh, that's bad. And to hear him talk, you'd think he was Buffalo Bill himself. Is that so? Well, I can track as good as he can, and I can ride and shoot like he can. Which don't make you Buffalo Bill Cody, young man, any more than it makes her the real calamity. Looks to me like this is a case to come up before the court. Lady, you know better than to address me as Uncle Ben when I'm presiding? Yes, sir. I mean, yes, Your Honor. Order in the court. Now, what's this ruckus all about? Well, Calamity went to the telegraph station instead of coming straight home after school. I was going to tell you, but you were too busy. That's no excuse. It is so. Now, 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 that's enough, that's enough. Calamity, we're not telling anybody where you were going. This court sentences you to wash the dishes for a week. And as for you, young fella, you're sentenced to cook all the meals during those seven days just to teach you if you want people to look up to you. You got to earn it yourself. Barring another man's fame is the same as stealing his coat. And you can't make yourself big by wearing it. And what's more, if you do, some of his enemies is liable to take a pot shot at you. But Uncle Ben... Right on time. I guess we'd better get to supper. Case is closed. But, Uncle Ben, somebody did take a shot at Bill. What's that? Who was it? Well, I'm not sure, but I think it was Johnny Ringo. Johnny Ringo? I don't understand it. Of course, Johnny always was the best shot in the Southwest. But even when he was riding with Curly Bill, he... He never wore a mask or plugged a man in the back. Yeah, and now he's doing both. And shouting to the world, he's Johnny Ringo. Well, all I got to say is he must have went stark staring mad. Dang, nabbit, I plumb forgot to take in that wash. Uncle Ben, didn't you say Johnny Ringo came from California? So I've heard. And his real name is Johnny Ringo. Sounds like we got company. Good evening. Does the 
town marshal live here? Yeah, he does. A uh, dis. Uh, I mean, he... <clears throat> won't you come in? I'll be with you in just a minute, ma'am. As soon as I get my badge. Uncle Ben's the barber, too, and he shoes horses. He's also the judge and, and the doctor and, and a lawyer. <laughs> Wileyville was named after him. Now then, ma'am, what can I do for you? I'm Anna Louise Beaumont. The man at the railway station said you might tell me where I could find Johnny Ringo. Johnny Ringo? Uh, maybe it's none of my business, ma'am, but are you any relation to Johnny? Well, if all had gone as we had planned, I... I would have been his wife. Get the floor! Here, here, where are you going? Larry! What's the matter? He's been shot. Oh, put him on that couch right there. Easy now. Easy does it. Calamity, fetch me some hot water and bring my surgical case in. Who shot you, Larry? Who gunned you down? Uh, Ringo. Ringo? Never mind him, Bill. Never mind him. I have to save a life here, and I may need your help. I have to probe that bullet. But, but, Judge, he's a killer. I've done some nursing. Maybe I can help. Oh, that's swell. Then I can go. Bill! Bill! Here's a wire. It's for you. It's from Captain Heath. It says, need your aid as scout. Report as soon as possible. Urgent. Captain Heath. Glad to see you made it in good time. Uh, Captain Heath, this is... Uh, yes, yes, I know. Buffalo Bill, Jr. Glad to know you, Bill. Same here, sir. Sergeant Ferris has probably explained why I sent for you in such a hurry. Although no explanation is really needed with all those tom-toms going. Sit down, Bill. But you see, we're fighting against time. Time to get those government bonds back to the Piutes before they start collecting our scouts. Mm, I understand, sir. Incidentally, just how did you get the name of Buffalo Bill, Jr.? From your uh, scouting ability? Uh, well, if you must know, sir, I... Well, you see, sir, uh, Uncle Ben, uh, Judge Benjamin Wiley, he gave me that name when he found my sister and me wandering around in the Black Hills. We were the only survivors of an Indian raid. And, well, I was carrying her wrapped up in a buffalo robe. So he named me Buffalo Bill, Jr. Yeah, I see. But you do know the Cloudy Hill Range. Pretty well, sir. And you can track. I can read ground prints, yes, sir. That's all I want to know. Better get to your horse, Bill. We'll be starting in 15 minutes. Yes, sir. Well, looks like we got ourselves a good scout, huh? Well, how can you tell, sir? He doesn't even seem sure of himself. Ferris, that's where you're wrong. When a fellow knows what he can do, he doesn't have to brag about it. Besides, you notice he wasn't afraid to tell us how he got his name. Our courier couldn't have tried to cross that. We better go back and contact our young scout. Shot from the saddle, he took his horse. You have any idea who it was? Yes, sir. Ringo. When do you suppose he was shot? Oh, I'd say about 24 hours ago. I probably met up with Ringo right after he plugged him. The government bonds aren't on him, sir. And he didn't drop them anyplace. My men have searched every inch of the area. Which means Ringo hasn't. Ferris, get to the nearest telegraph office and wire the colonel for more men. Uh, excuse me, sir. But we already have too many men. A whole company too many. You can hear them coming a mile. Oh, I, I see what you mean. 
Very well, then. Uh, take over, Ferris. Yes, sir. All right, Bill. Let you and I go get Ringo, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> shouldn't go to all this trouble, ma'am. Who said it was any trouble? And will you stop calling me ma'am? My name is Anna Louise, Larry. Anna Louise. Hey, Larry, you won't have to worry anymore. They sent a relief man to take your place. Oh, hello, Miss Beaumont. Here, Calamity. You finished feeding Larry his soup. Yes, ma'am. I'll go put on a fresh apron for supper. And I worked the key and took down all the messages, just like you said, until the relief man showed up. And I didn't have a bit of trouble. You just ask Uncle Ben as soon as he comes in from putting the mule away. Calamity, we got a visitor. Go tell that young lady Johnny Ringo's here. She'll be glad to see you. Yes, sir. Stay right where you are, kid. Hello, Johnny Ringo. My goodness. Don't tell me I've changed so much you don't know me. But then, you've changed, too. Been a long time, hasn't it, Johnny? Well, what if it has? You don't have to be that way with me, Johnny. Not when I've come all the way from California just to see you. Yeah, well, as far as I'm concerned, you can go right back again. Johnny! Why, you... Here, kid. Get me that clothesline over there. Go ahead and get it for him. The rest of you get those chairs and bring them over here. You too. But he's hurt. I'm not asking any favors of him. That's good, because you won't get any. That goes for you too. Right now, I ain't trusting nobody. Go get those chairs. Trust me some grub, kid, while I tie them up. Sit down. Put your hands behind you. As soon as I tie you up, I'm going to get you some shut-eye. Those blasted soldiers have kept me on the run. Ringo's horse here. Looks like he switched to the Majors. You better unsaddle him and turn him loose. We'll pick him up later. Yes, sir. Don't you ever mount or dismount the regular way? Yes, sir, when I have lots of time. <laughs> Paiutes. Head for Tanaka's camp. You better find Ringo and fast. Johnny, does he? No, Johnny's handsome. But I heard you warning Calamity, and I knew you were afraid I'd say he wasn't the real Johnny Ringo. If you had, he might have shot all of us. But if he isn't... But if he isn't Ringo, who is he? Jack Deuce. Sometimes called Johnny behind the deuce. A gambler. He's hated Johnny ever since he exposed him as a cheat and a liar. But why does he go around pretending that he's Johnny Ringo? Well, offhand, I'd say it was to ruin his reputation for playing square and to get him hung. But where's Johnny? Why doesn't he do something about him? That's what I'd like to know.
Are you... Are you still in love with Johnny Ringo? I don't know. I was very young when... when we were engaged. My father didn't want us to marry. He said Johnny didn't have enough money. Johnny swore he'd get it. He didn't care how. That's the last I saw of him. Then... father died and... I came here looking for Johnny. But it all, it all seems so long ago. Well, right where I left you. I'll untie you, kid. You can rustle me up some coffee. Do you mind if she hangs the clothes out first so they won't get mildewy? She don't have to go outside. All she's got to do is push him out through that window. I reckon it'll be all right. Go ahead, kid. Calamity. Remember, hang those clothes up just like you do over at Larry's. Well, leave it to me, Judge. I thought you said he came through Wileyville night before last. Well, he did, sir, but he must have circled back. Sorry we have to push on. I'd like to stop and meet your folks. Oh, they wouldn't be up this early anyhow. That's funny. Why only handkerchiefs with socks? I sure wouldn't know. It... Wait a minute. It's Morse code. Code? Sure. Dot, 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 dash, dash, dash. Dot, 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 S-O-S. Hey, somebody wants help. That's where I live. Ringo's there. Locked. The only way in is through the laundry window. You reloaded? Yeah. Then cover me. Right. Looks like you didn't need any help. <laughs> hey, look! The bonds! Bill, you saved my scalp, along with a lot of others. I'm grateful. Yeah, but did you have to wreck the kitchen doing it? Bill hit the trail again right away. Even though he'd captured Jack Deuce, who'd been
and posing as Ringo and recovered the government bonds for the Indians, thereby forestalling an Indian uprising, he didn't consider his job done until he found the real Johnny Ringo. It wasn't long, however, before he was on his way back home again. found Johnny Ringo up in Turkey Creek Canyon with a bullet through the back of his head. They must have caught him by surprise because his gun was still in his, his, his hole. Johnny, dead? Poor Johnny. Maybe I'd better go after her. She might need a shoulder to cry on. No wonder Jack Deuce wasn't afraid to say he was Ringo. Well, sure, you probably killed him. Yeah, but it still didn't do him any good. Like I've always said, you can't make yourself big by standing in the shadow of a better man. Oh, all right, I get it. From now on, just, just call me Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. Now with his horse and with his gun, he's not afraid of anyone. No one's quicker on the draw or quicker to defend the law. Buffalo Bill Jr., Buffalo Bill Jr. He's the son of a son of a gun. Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill Jr. Come on by westernsontheweb.com. See our original webcast western along with tons of free western movies and television shows, all family friendly. Brought to you here on the internet by westernsontheweb.com. Come by and see us. Happy trail.